dude, this man tours stadiums, acts. <laughs> <laughs> on call that um <laughs> and then uh he's like on magazines like in a dress yeah i mean the guy's like he's like today's he's like David. oh we're talking about harry styles okay <laughs> dude i was like wait wait time out time out time out time what is up everyone and welcome back to the say what podcast episode 47 my name is so Lali, and i'm joined as always by my lovely co-host yosef native core and uh you are watching or listening on spotify apple podcast we appreciate you tuning in as always on mondays or whenever you listen to it uh please if you're listening on spotify give us a rating of five stars also on apple podcasts if you're watching on youtube leave a like comment below and subscribe for all future almost had me <laughs> for all future episodes episode 47 look at us back look at, at us it. i think this is seven no i think we picked back up from episode 40 so yeah this is the seventh in a row but a Bring it in. Bada bing. Bam. There we go. But we we do this for you all, all, all 20 of you. Um, <laughs> but we appreciate you. You know, uh, we, we enjoy doing this and uh, it's good to, good to catch up every week and talk about what's going on and what is going on. Uh, this episode, we're talking about a few things ranging from Shia LaBeouf drama with Olivia Wilde's new movie. Um, what's it called? Don't, Don't look up. Don't worry, darling. Don't worry, darling. <laughs> Um, Which we're all worried about this movie. We're, <laughs> this, this is, we're all very worried. <laughs> Warner Brothers uh, it has more to worry about. Um, uh, Matt Reeves, the Batman director, signing an amazing deal for himself. Uh, good for that fella. Bringing good things. Elon Musk with uh, apparently a Halloween update on the on the come up. Uh, Michael oh. Jordan. <laughs> yeah, Michael Jordan's in uh, the PGA, the, the 2K23 PGA game apparently. And uh, we'll have a loud out of the week as always. So. We appreciate you. Let me just ask real quick. Who yes. buys PGA? <laughs> PGA, 2K. I have never seen a single Did you ever? human play this fucking game. I've, uh, maybe like a 145-year-old. We know more people it. that have played like Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you know. And uh, you, that has something like, oh, this is graphically like intensive. You it know was, I mean? yeah. Or like, or I'm, I'm talking like the ninth, like in Windows 98 yeah. simulator. <laughs> and now it's like. like Google Earth. And then PGA Tour, I... I, I I who the f- I've never I've never been like I want to play golf virtually. <laughs> I mean, I never want to play golf. Period. Exactly. Let, al- let alone virtually. I mean, if we have any listeners or anyone watching that plays golf and someone's seething right now, <laughs> <laughs> take their favorite game. Someone's like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" I pre-ordered the ultimate edition. When we talk about two K, we're thinking like NBA two K. Exactly. They're thinking about PGA tour. <laughs> no, like they have two K, the golf, two K. I think hockey. What the f- or no, I guess that's what's it called? NHL. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They still they have their own thing, but. I mean, I just thought this was hilarious, right? Michael Jordan and the thing. Um, he's a playable ki- Playable. Is he good? I don't know. <laughs> he's the goat. And then, uh, no. And then there's also, uh, they got OJ too. No fucking way. With blood way. stains and everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, I was like, what the fuck? He swings and goes, hey, Twitter world. <laughs> but, uh, he's evading yeah. fucking capture in Florida. <laughs> I, wanna, I want us to, right off the bat, talk about what we did last night. Ooh. We were here. Yes. Not literally here. We were in the, the, the main office yeah. room filming uh, your podcast. Yes. The Below Average that Podcast. That was a nightmare. <laughs> it was a night. It was, dude, okay. Let me just say, our my plan was, okay, get off work as early as possible, mm-hmm. shower, pick everyone up, come here, record for two hours, done. Yeah, three All of your right. friends as a co-guests. It, yeah, exactly. And like, that episode, the episode's going to be coming soon. Oh, yeah. It's going to be an awful to edit. <laughs> But it looks like, incredible. We, because we were like, okay, like this lighting, everything was good. We had the mic set up, and we're like, okay, let's see, let's hook this shit up. And only one mic, I have four mics connected four to one USB, USB hub, mics. Which, if you have a Mac, don't do it because <laughs> it's not going to work. It's impossible. It's literally a fucking, this was like response. So we got here, what, at like 8 45? Yeah. Nine? Okay, yeah. 8 45, 9 o'clock. I'm thinking, okay. 30 minutes to set up, maybe like a two-hour session, we'll be out of here 11.30, 10.30 maybe if we're lucky, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so, quick. Yeah. Well, no, you nope. wanted to do four 30-minute sessions. That's two yeah. hours. Yeah, so two, two hours so, of recording. Yeah, so either way, like 11.30. Plus or minus break, so yeah, yeah 11.30, maybe, maybe midnight. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, we'll get out of here, no problem, right? Yeah. That's what I thought, These too. mics were not working with us on this fucking, on my laptop, and I was like, this, it, it took up 
four hours of our time. Yeah. Legitimately four hours. Troubleshooting, going to Walmart to look for adapters, getting adapters. Because we were like, okay, because it was only on a USB hub into yeah. one USB port. So yeah, like, okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe if we get a dongle for each port. It'll oh. work because it was recognizing each mic on different ports. So like, okay, we'll plug yep, it all at once. Exactly. Did not work that way. Nope. It was still recognizing one mic. Yeah, one and at then, a time. Thank God for Luke. I love you. I will fucking blow you to the day you die. This man well, he's was got a like, wife. yeah. I mean, two for one. So, <laughs> so he was like. You know, I can ask Hannah, his wife, to drip like to drop off like her laptop, a PC, a, a, PC, a, a Windows, Windows laptop. laptop, and we were like, "Okay, fuck yeah, yeah, we'll give it a try." This is the last hope. It's like what, like one o'clock, two, one. twelve? It's twelve at this point. It wasn't four hours, then. it was two hours of troubleshooting. Because if we started recording at like twelve thirty, yeah, no, we were in here nine ish. Twelve thirty, twelve. We were, we were about, yeah, we were like yeah. ready to record. So yeah, two hours of troubleshooting, yeah, not so four. Two hours troubleshooting. Another two, yeah, another two for recording. So we're pretty much, four, yeah. So we got to yeah. here. We got out of here at like three like thirty. Yeah, the laptop came around one. Uh, yeah, one, and then we got it set up. And then it was troubleshooting like the monitoring system yeah, to make dude, sure we're not like peeking and shit. Luke and Jackson. Shout out to Jackson and Luke again fucking for wizards, fucking man. using. I've never used OBS before, and yeah, I, like have you? I've never. It was like for capturing your stream. Yeah, like thank Twitch people. God, that, that was recognized amazing. the four USBs it, when we we, got we plugged in. them all into the Windows download Audacity, which is what we use, mm-hmm. and then you could see mics one through four. And yeah, we're like hold, we never saw that before, and so we're like, like, oh, it's, it's fucking, being registered. It's gonna happen. It's yeah. gonna happen. And at this, dude, I don't Ooh. think you guys understand. We were like, me and Saw were like, dude. Just we're done. Like it's been two hours. Every, two and a half. every Reddit post it's was scrapped. like, "You can't do it with yeah, four mics, every, four USB mics." You go online, it's like looking up like a symptom when you're sick. Like you just yeah. think like, you're dying. We're on WebMD for we're like, podcasts. This is it. Like <laughs> nobody, everyone was like, no "You're literally back. a masochist if you use four USB mics." Yeah, and we're like, and "Ah, shit, shit it's, it's over. over." But but <laughs> we got it fucking working. It worked. I guys, I don't think we can understand like. Sohal was behind the camera oh, for man. two hours total. Okay, we were taking like that's just the filming. Yeah, that was just filming. The mics they were going on mm. for the entire two hours. Like I'm pretty sure we only took like a couple. We took four breaks. Each break was like two minutes long because we were just like, are right, we cutting yeah, down yeah. On time? You, you split up into four episodes. Yeah. So we just we just roll them shotgun yeah. style, one yeah. after another, and that would have been fine if it wasn't uh, two a.m. Yeah. If it. <laughs> Three if it wasn't two or three in the oh, morning, God. like when I was like when we got to the fourth episode, right? We already shot three 30 minute sessions. Right? Well, the first session, the first episode, we shot that went for long. fifty it minutes because yeah. we were like, because I mean, we were like one. It was like our first, like the first episode with everybody. Yeah, you're figuring it and out. And it was like we're figuring out one, and then two is like I felt like we just kept going like off topic, and I'd like steer everyone back in, and then we're going back off topic. And it was just like, like one point solo, I was like, yeah, five minutes left. And that I was, was like, like my 30 minute mark. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, cut it and just keep recording. Keep going. Yeah. Because like, we we're not getting meal. anything. Like yeah. we got a couple like morsels yeah. in the 30 minutes. But you did good. Time. You really kept, I could tell you kept checking your phone for the next four, for the next three. Yeah. And I was like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> one, because it was late. Two, yeah. I was like, we have like literally, we have a lot of batteries in the SD card, but dude, we like tapped out your first card. Yeah. Pretty much tapped out my second card. I have like a 128 yeah. gig card, so that was fine. But I was like, I was swapping batteries, yeah. and it I was, was like, I was, I want to make sure we can get all of them. Obviously, we were in filmmaking war, basically. Like, yeah. saw so I was reloading the shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I'm like, come on, come you guys, on. you guys are performing. Everyone's tired and hungry, dude. The last episode was three o'clock in the morning when we started recording. Yep, I was like, I was in my head. I was like, if we can get out at three thirty, it felt we'll like be good. It felt like everyone was just like tapped out. Like everyone's yeah. really trying. Like I don't blame them. You know what I mean? Like this was supposed to be done by one o'clock. This is our at the latest. This is our six be of like being in the whole day. Yeah. yeah, and like it got to the like earlier on when we were like getting the dongles. Like Ethan and Jackson, they went to go to the bars to get drink. Drink. Shout out to the Pride Festival. It's did they on. did they end up getting drinks? Yeah, they got a, they did got they? drinks while we were gone. So oh, I was no. like, okay, they relaxed. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? like, yeah. It took yeah. the edge off. Oh yeah, you know. But oh, they're uh, just sleepy. But yeah, <laughs> but I was like, oh, like, man. like I saw Luke. Luke was like losing his train, his train of thought. Like he was quiet, and then Jackson was like in and out. Like got to the point where people were just like this. 
do yawning and i mean yeah you look at the energy in the first episode of the last one and yeah. it's just you know what it is it's, well, it's late, like when you're shooting in bulk yeah. like that's but typically i'm very excited to see the editing and yeah. uh, how you use the different camera angles yeah free freehand camera which is why it was so much be ready to help pain. me with that because um, my premiere trial ran out <laughs> oh is that right well <laughs> fucking buy it because you're on your own no uh i uh you know there there's not many people we and i would do that for yeah um, and that's because we're family. I don't think I don't um, understand. This is like a lot. No, and like, this is people who know media stuff. It, it, these things always take longer than you yeah. think. You look at call sheets. The reason why like movie call sheets are like four or five in the morning yeah. is because it takes like three hours to get the bullshit going yeah. before you can even start rolling. Fucking, uh, there's like the Kubrick story where like, uh, whatever movie he did with like uh, Tom Cruise and the Eyes Wide Shut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, have him go through that door 80 times, then yeah. come get me. Because yeah. he's like, I'm not going to waste my time like shooting and filming if they're not ready. Yeah. It's just that kind of thing. But, um, but the Kubrick one thing is... a psycho. Is, I'm not going <laughs> to... No, but... He's a perfectionist, but like a psycho. This was our own little version yeah. of... Because, I mean, we were like, we're going to get... We're going to keep going. And... Because uh, if we... If we... Before the mics got set up, if we were like, all right, you know what? Just scrap. We'll figure out another session. Because it sucked because we're... Like, I was... Like, I talked to Ethan to like move all the stuff off mm-hmm. the desk and I didn't want him to like do that for nothing. Yeah. So I was like feeling real shit about that but if we were like okay you know what just save it for another session earlier time like we know like we figured out the problem and just fucking like well next time we'll be ready to go you know what I mean? yeah exactly then, yeah. I was, then i would have been like okay yeah fine. i wouldn't like it but i'd be like yeah okay that's fine but the fact that we fucking triumphed and shot anyway is like insane to me just push through and i'm just i just want to say i'm jealous uh, because I, I never had a podcast look so good, <laughs> and it's it's all because of me. So you're welcome. And uh, no, in my light. lights, in my lights. Hello. Yes, yes. <laughs> congrats, you're the red and blue light. Um, <laughs> but no, I mean your direction. Like you were like, get these details, get yeah. these angles. Like, and when you told me that, I like fell in love with that. Yeah. So like, and this is just things I've learned from like shooting events and stuff. Just getting like people's reactions to things. Like yeah. sometimes they're not even the ones talking. Yeah. And they have the more interesting. That's the yeah. more interesting shot. And like because we had one wide angle. Like yeah. The, sta- the static, which is definitely helpful, because when I would cross, um, that you yeah. need like the handheld. But that's I I, I would have been way more upset if I didn't one enjoy what you guys were talking about. Yeah. Like it was interesting to listen to the conversations yeah. and then to fall in love with like artistically yeah what's the dopest shot angle like little thing like i had jackson's like foot yeah like just going up and down and and like beautiful dude, little things like, like that. tried and true like i would like if like because i would like test it out with like the uh like the camera method where it's like the one stationary camera one handheld yeah we yeah because we had for it the one episode, for episode zero. zero and then also for before when i was recording uh the kid i coach in basketball oh. his mom's like guitar oh, video yeah, yeah, yeah. i tested out with that too and when i saw how like the like, cause we have a fifty millimeter on the camera yeah. on the handheld. Great lens, and it looks so fucking cool. Cause yeah. you can like fuck with the aperture and like get a bokeh effect. Yeah, it's so sick, dude, dude. Yeah, I was like playing with the lights, the flaring of and the red. And when I when I saw that, I was like, okay, this is what it's gonna be for the podcast. Cause yeah. one, it's like it's gonna it's got to stand up audio wise, like quality yes. wise, but visually, like if it when it's on YouTube, it's got to fucking yeah stand and like, out, you know. And like the wide shot's good too, cause you see everybody at a yeah. shot, but like. And editing is going to be so up. much. Imagine if we did a one but in shot a way, like it's this. Kinda like like I mean, imagine if we did a one shot like this with no cuts in between. Like, like that's the good thing about the. It's going to be edited heavily. So yeah, like yeah. Because you, you have you you switch between if one we and had two. It like this, but and it was just like one. You know, one shot. Oh, like without cuts. I mean, you know, it would be like. That's why I said I'm jealous. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I wish I had another me yeah. to do that right now. That'd be yeah. that'd be freaking dope, but. Uh, we don't, yeah. um, but no, like, and like in editing and I've done this from people giving like talks at IU and stuff. There's always like a secondary camera yeah. and there's this really, we'll figure it out in premiere. There's a mode where it's almost like, like you ever see like the back, the behind the scenes of like sports, uh, broadcast, yeah. you see there's like, like 20 monitors yeah. at the football game. There's like 15 cameras. Right. And there's like a dude, like a board. He literally has like a, a pad. And he goes like one. It's okay. Seven. Now. Oh, so, like it's like a stream deck or something like, you know, yeah, exactly where he yeah. cuts to that angle and he knows and it's live. This yeah. is different. In Premiere, it's like a version of that where you have one and two. Yeah. And you can play your, you can play both of them. Obviously, you have them synced. And then you play, and then you're like, oh, let's go to the, the, the freehand now. And yeah. then it just switches over. Instead yeah. of having like cut, cut, cut. Yeah. Um, and 
like it's honestly like music at that point. Yeah, dude, it's so f- filmmaking is fun as fuck. Man. It is. It is fun. And this at is its why. Best, yeah, at its best, it's magic. At its worst, you get you. It really it tests. Thor, you get Thor. Uh, it, the tests, Thor movie. <laughs> it tests your metal. It does yeah. because, man, we were tired. My neck was killing, and my I, back, my my, <laughs> my <crack>. and my. <laughs> but like, it's for the love of the craft, and for knowing like. Like you're telling the stories you guys are telling. Well, for yeah. one, that's I mean, props to you guys for like ha- having interesting, engaging conversations. Yeah. And for you to including everybody, which is not easy. Yeah. To, to having a conversation with one person, let alone three other people. Yeah. Um, and to like beautifully capture it, and like I can like see like how the editing can go. Yeah. It's like a it's like a John Williams composition. Like that to us is. Thank you very much, as magic. a director. I'll take a full grade. It is your direction. It is your direction. <laughs> We put it to action, but for, I mean the filmmakers, the artists, the musicians—they all Everyone, dude, they know what we're talking about. Dude, you know? media students, people who are trying to get into like entertainment—they all fucking know what it's like. You know what I mean? It's like, it's so much work. Fuckload. That's what I say. At its best, though, like when you hit that the magic, it's magic. At its worst, it it tests you. It's like it's, sex. <laughs> You're trying to reach that climax. <laughs> At its worst, it's Once disheartening. You get it, ecstasy. At its worst, it's a little soft. <laughs> it just didn't. It You're just both kind of okay with it. Yeah, it doesn't end right. <laughs> Somebody leaves unsatisfied. <laughs> yeah. At least. Yeah. One At of least you. one person. Yeah, if not both of you. Or maybe there's more of you. Yeah. <laughs> but at its worst, man, it's. Uh, you have to have some resilience. You yeah, really man. do. And you have to be a problem solver. Yeah, That's, man. I mean, now we're just getting into it, but I love watching behind the scenes and documentaries of of um, movies and stuff. Like I was watching, before we went to go see uh, Phantom Menace at the IU yeah. Cinema with Ethan and Trey, I watched like the making of that. Yeah. Because it was like George Lucas' first time coming back before the the original uh-huh. three, right? And the fucking the timeline they had do he talk about we were talking about marvel vfx artists today. yeah bro he put his vfx artists through that shit oh and out the gate and and they like set the deadline like the release date yeah for may 1999 i think or yeah. december that was in 1997 jesus like they Christ. this is a, the, the the behind the I'm scenes is in 97 about that right now. <laughs> exactly and that's like a production staff of hundreds of people and with the problem solving part comes from like they get to filming they got the DP. Yeah. George Lucas is there on set. You got Ewan and uh, what's his name? Hayden. Yeah. Yeah. Hayden Christian. Yeah. Said, they're on yeah. set, and like they're doing the thing where I think like, Obi Wan like jumps up like after yeah. the thing after the fall, and they're they're doing the, they have like a trampoline. Yeah. And it just it looks like a trampoline, like this jump. It's obviously yeah. blue screen everything, yeah. but they're like, dude, it fucking looks bad. <laughs> <laughs> and like yeah. the choreographer and like the stunt guy, are, like just trying to, they're all just trying to figure it out. Yeah. And they've planned millions of dollars yeah. into that, and like even even that can still go wrong. Yeah. And you just have to figure it out. What would they do? I, I think they they ended up. I was about to say, don't blue ball me right now. <laughs> <laughs> what did they do? You'll have to see the no. They I think they just ended up getting like six guys just like heave damn. Them up. <laughs> Jesus, bro. And it's those things, man. It's this like shitty rigs. Um, yeah. It's a subreddit, uh, like media film students, where it's like, I mean, for example, we have a light on our camera. Yeah. Let's say I didn't have it like mounted like that. Yeah. I'd have like duct tape on it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, like a shitty rig. Dude, there's stuff that, like that. I'm going to, so for uh, the podcast, I want to shoot for like the loved one. I wanted to shoot like, you know, ah, I don't want to spoil it, but like there's a scene, there's something I want to shoot. Blue ball this, man. Where it's, <laughs> like for like where it's like a zoom, mm-hmm. like what we did for the episode, for the announcement, right? Mm-hmm. Something like that. And then for the heartbreak one, there's a shot I want to do where it's like, you know that shot in Black Panther where it's like, it's going backwards, but it's like spinning like that. Oh, when they're fighting on the Dude, thing? Yeah. I was like literally testing out, like grabbing like a pole and then like taping the camera oh, just to see shit. if I could like yeah, go yeah, yeah. around. Using gravity to just That's going to be a night, like an arm workout. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be like lifting just constantly just so I don't feel anything for that yeah, duration. Yeah, yeah. You're, you, have to, you have to do it first to figure out it's even yeah. possible. Dude, because like it, I don't, I don't want that to be another thing where like when we shoot, I have to figure it I'm out, figuring it out on the fly, like yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean, like because I that'd the, be something. The mic situation, I was like, oh, I tested out just one. You're brand new, yeah. Like, yeah, it'll be fine. Like it sounded good. I was like, it's gonna oh, be excellent, fine. yeah. Nope. And then we just times multiply by four. that by four. Yeah. Realized that Max can't fucking Dude. do that. And then the real ones remember our first episode of this. Oh yeah, bro. It sounded like we were in a fish tank because we had the mics like this. <laughs> 
It was like this. We had it like this. You sounded pretty decent. I was like warbly. Dude, that was like before you knew to like put your mouth on. <laughs> like so. Anyway, I was. I was like. So I was like. <laughs> I'm like it's a way really sound it like, like I was gucking the mic for like an hour. And then like. Or like the very first time we tried, which we didn't even put out there, where I was telling Luke in the car, like we we like had them on different computers. Yeah. And I was like, oh, computers have different internal clocks, mm-hmm. so they just were like off beat, and that acceler uh, exponentially got worse. But yeah, man, I'll tell you, every time we do something like this, uh, I learn something. And I have wet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> and you have nightmares of these shoes. It's like, oh god, it's all gonna fall apart. But like, who is it? Um. I mean, shit. It was Louis. It was Louis uh, C.K. Yeah, he, he, uh, he's back on. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I did not consent. <laughs> um, he was talking about like he made a movie recently yeah. with uh, another comedian, a bunch of comedians, and he was like, every day we get into like filming, mm-hmm. and we're like, I don't know how the fuck we're gonna do this. <laughs> and then at the end of the day, you go to bed, and you're like, I can't believe we got that, and yeah. it was good shit too. Yeah, that's how I felt too. I was like, can't last night we did that. I was like, I, we walked out, and I was just like, we fucking like actually did it, and it was like, good. Holy fuck, man. And it was good and good we'll, shit. We'll see what the fuck happens. You know what's not going to be good, though? Don't worry, darling. That movie looks ass. Holy shit. I, I completely that lost. That movie looks ass. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm pretty excited for it. I Oh, I know. I'm excited. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, first of all, let me just say, Florence Pugh. Great actress, like, absolutely. Fucking what a dog! She's in the like, industry, I though. think she's like twenty six or something. She's very young. I got a chance. Okay, so, <laughs> dude, first of all, she be going through it. Did you? See, okay, I tweeted this. Uh-huh. Did you see this Harry Styles and Florence Pugh clip the that clip they posted? That, that po- the clip that for Lee, yeah. adver- to market the movie. Yeah, which is like whew, hey, Harry man, Styles fire that guy. <laughs> fire first of all Could the have been, guy uh, who. Shia. First of all, fire the guy who thought it'd be a good idea to post that clip as marketing and like getting people interested. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what a, it's like a, it's like a fucking 5 second like middle of their argument. Yeah, like which like that's fine, but that's not what I have a problem with. The problem I have is with Harry Styles, okay? Yeah. This man was in one Christopher Nolan movie, okay? In Dunkirk. Oh yeah, yeah, I still yeah. haven't seen that same, movie. Same, same. Okay? I don't know how he does. But if this is how he acts in that movie, I'm not watching it. Yeah, and I I want to give him the benefit of the doubt here because it's one clip, it's out of context, but it's not good. He does like four different accents in this dang thing, and I always say like <laughs> someone broke it down to his like Long Island Italian the- normal <laughs> like American. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's and I don't even I think I guess I guess it's no, to be it was, California, it was British, mm-hmm. New Yorker, and mm-hmm. then just like mid Midwestern. Yeah, yeah, that's. <laughs> But this movie, this is Olivia Wilde. Yeah, this is Olivia Wilde's movie. It's at Warner Brothers, so they're just like, please do well. Is it true that Harry Styles actually slept with Olivia Wilde? They're the like rumor. a thing. Really? Yeah, you didn't know this. <laughs> yeah, so know. like her and Sudeikis broke, uh, uh, got divorced. Didn't they know got that. like two kids. I was very confused. He served her the papers at like Comic Con or something, like on stage. There was like what? a clip. What? Like she, she was like, like about to talk, he just kind of like, like you've been served. Like married fucking story, you've been served. Jason Sudeikis, fucking love that man. Um, That's yeah. This is sa- like months ago. Young Savage. <laughs> Dude, my jaw dropped. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, That's yeah. cold blooded. I, I can't believe you missed that one. She fucked that yeah. up. She did something. This was when we weren't doing the podcast. It was like right yeah. before we got back going again. Bro, what the? F- wait, so wait, wait, wait. Why did they, did they ever establish why they divorced? Just I just want to know that. Watch Ted Lasso. Honestly, like I I fucking love Ted Lasso, was that, like, but based? he he pulls a lot from it. Uh-huh. But a lot of it is like. Well, they're both working in this business. The uh-huh. business is fucking toxic. We know this. Hollywood yeah. and shit. They got two kids. It just... I don't think it was that public of like oh, what yeah. happened. It wasn't oh, okay. like a Depp, Amber Heard thing. But Damn, like... wild. They cut it off uh, yeah. like earlier this year. Yeah. To which then... It wasn't like official Instagram. Like uh, her and uh, Harry Styles. That's why I didn't see that. Exactly. Yeah. It, it was just kind of like the, the unspoken truth yeah. that they were being seen together. Photographs of them fucking everywhere together. Hell, man. And I mean, he's fucking... Dude, this man tours stadiums, acts. Come <laughs> on, call that. Um, and then uh, he's like on magazines, like in a dress. Yeah. I mean, the guy's like fucking. He's like today's. He's like. David. Oh, we're talking about Harry Styles. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I was like, wait, wait, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. What is going on? Ted Lasso tour. That'd be sick. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Why the fuck is he a comedian? 
<laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> Sadiq, what else? What else? I was uh, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so I was the devil. Yeah. But like, okay. Yeah, so, Harry Styles, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Harry, maybe take more classes. You know, like, uh, and I'll, I'll be honest, I also... There is this thing of like directors, right? Yeah. She, yeah, that's what I was getting, like. No, she should have been like, "Hey, man, can you pick an accent that you want to do, please?" Like, yeah, <laughs> like th- it's you know there have been some movies where like so like a British person will be playing an American actor mm-hmm. or, or make character, sorry, and then they like the accent like slips in. Yeah, even like, like they, Tom, uh, Matthew McFadden in Succession. Yeah, like, sometimes that fuck off. You know what I mean? <laughs> Greg, <laughs> <laughs> it just comes out. You're right. But for me, I'm always like, cause I, I, the director, it's their responsibility, ultimately. You got it. If you're going to direct, you have to be able to have like, well, she doesn't, the balls, to, <laughs> sorry, uh, to be like, She's the man. hey, do another take and like critique was, don't be like, you know, an asshole, but be like, I mean, just do another yeah, take. Yeah, and you know? We, we know, we fucking, we know this shit. It's hard. Yeah. You got the sun setting. <laughs> you got, so you got natural yeah. shit against you, that, you got the union, so that people can only work certain hours. You got fucking everyone's. You got to get the day. Stop unionizing. No. <laughs> Take hey, away the union. Crew, why don't you chill out? Huh? You get free lunch. <laughs> um, but yeah, minutes. like, sorry. And it's but it's also like the director comes to the actor and's like, here's what I want you to come out of this. And she wrote the script too, so it really is like her words. Yeah. Um, we've seen it in like a lot of directors who have done acting before. It's it helps. Like Tarantino, like he started yeah. out as an actor, so he knew how to like yeah. get the best out of his actors. So ultimately, I think uh, the whole film, obviously, it yeah. comes on her shoulders. Yeah, um, and she's feeling the pressure, man. Did you see the one clip where she was just driving? And she was like red as okay. fa- red as fuck face. Was, was that like, the the no? It was that the the clip of her texting Shia? No, she didn't text. Okay. Not in this one. It was just at least on, it was just a oh, portion okay. I saw. But it was okay. like she's like Miss Flo, if you want to. That's like, the one. She so texted. That, that's that? what that is. I didn't see that. So okay, that's wait, the context. So I here's, just saw the one minute portion. Yes. Okay, yeah. Okay. yeah she, it's like she's she just worked out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Her eyes were red as fuck. She either tilted well, yeah. up or was crying during this workout. Hot room yoga. This, she was me in a workout. <laughs> this, so this whole thing, why Shia LaBeouf was trending earlier yeah. this week. Apparently, she originally wanted him as one of her options yeah. for the Harry Styles character. Uh-huh. The ma- basically, the male lead. That would have been op- pretty good, yeah. Opposite so, Florence yeah. Pugh, right? And I didn't know this, but Shia LaBeouf apparently had a history of a bad relationship with this artist, uh, Twigs. Did you hear don't, about this? I don't know who that. They were boyfriend. They were dating. Yeah. Okay. And she claimed that he was like abusive. abusive. Yeah. Okay. Both physically, emotionally, Damn. like he he would he would do some weird things like like go through her phone. That's yeah. the emotional thing yeah. to actually physical abuse. So it was pretty fucked up and kind of had a messy, dramatic break breakup. Yeah. And he wears that. He yeah. takes. He acknowledges that he takes yeah. full responsibility, accountability. Uh-huh. He's like, I'm trying to, I'm, I need to be a better man. He has a daughter, you know. Yeah. Like, he has a kid, so he's like, I, I, every day I want to be a better role model for her. Mm. So he's acknowledged that. Anyway, this whole thing, what happened with this movie, and he was originally, they were rehearsing. Yeah. So Olivia Wilde wanted Shia LaBeouf for this role. Uh-huh. They're rehearsing, and apparently his method of acting, and we've seen it in his performances, yeah. it comes out, it's very intense. He goes full method, basically, doesn't he? He's yeah. Like, he's, he's like becomes the character. He, you know, he was playing his dad, right, in like Honey yeah. Boy, right. So he certainly did for that. But yeah, I think it's a very aggressive method. You know, a lot of times directors on the sets they want to make it a good environment. You mm-hmm. know, it's very positive, and that's what Olivia Wilde said. She's like, my sets, I want them to be friendly, mm-hmm. and we're having a good time. We're here at work. Everyone's working. Yeah. And Shia takes more of a like a Tom Hardy esque. You know, yeah. this shit is we're fucking is life or death. You yeah. has to be the stakes, right? We've heard him say that. And Florence Pugh is more in the school of, this is a job, let's be professional, yeah. that kind of thing. I don't think she took well to his style, uh-huh. his approach. Yeah. And so, and she's, she's you know, the second star, you know. Yeah. And, and of course, Florence Pugh has to be happy too. Yeah. So this video that you mentioned of her in the car, sweaty after a workout, yeah. it's actually a video text to Shia LaBeouf. She's saying, hey, sir, how are you doing? I mean... I think it's like in the middle of them rehearsing uh-huh. and in the middle of them having their disputes about should he even be in the movie. Uh-huh. And right then and there, as we saw, she's like, I think we can work this out. Mm. I think you and Miss Flo, Florence yeah. Pugh, I think if we just convince her, it's all about convincing her yeah. to deal with him, basically, because she wants him mm. in this movie. So then what happened is it just didn't work out. Mm-hmm. 
it just didn't work out. They went their separate ways. I think he acknowledged that I don't think I'm the best fit for this too. Yeah. And she certainly didn't fire him. Yeah. But that's the story that kind of got run. Uh, is that he's such he's an abusive on set, blah, 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 that Olivia Wilde had to fire him uh-huh. and bring in Harry Styles instead. And that was the story. And then the real thing last week was Shia wrote uh, like an email and his email was shared mm-hmm. to Olivia Wilde. Very oh, respectful. Oh, okay. And, Damn. Okay, I thought, yeah, he, was no, about, I thought like, he was about to be like, you dumb bitch. <laughs> but at, yeah, I mean, at the same time, it, it has that. I mean, it's an email too. It's yeah. like a very sternly written email yeah. where it's like he acknowledges his mistakes in life Mm -hmm. he's he's a very you know emotional guy obviously we've seen his outbreaks and stuff so even in his writing he's like very descriptive and he's like every day like i said i'm trying to do better however you going around saying that this is the narrative is hurting me it's hurtful to me Uh because we had a a mutual agreement that we're we're just going to go our separate ways for this project and never you did never you never fired me that's not true, and it, you know, because it, it hurts him. So Olivia Wilde was trying to like pander, like she was trying to be like, "Oh, I fired him because of this, that, and that." Like, was she trying she, to actively like pander to like you know? Yeah, I'm like, because they had to get that from somewhere. Yeah, and I think yeah, she's kind of been flip floppy about that mm. that exact uh-huh. detail. So yeah, maybe in a way, but this, this is why you don't try. To, you don't like fuck me, man. If she was just like, yeah, we talked like publicly it was like, yeah, we talked about it, it didn't work out. That would have, you know, like mutual. Like, yeah. It wouldn't work. There. But if you're going to be like, hey, you want to make this work out? Doesn't work out. And then you're going to be like, try to make it into a situation where you look better in the situation. Mm-hmm. She's going to bite you in the fucking ass, man. She, especially, yeah. especially if someone's outspoken like fucking Shia LaBeouf, man. Yes. And like, not leaving it- fucking around with the rock. Fuck around and find out. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> Grenative, <laughs> but she, you know, she comes out. That was the thing, right? Oh, female director saves female star from an abusive male co-star. That's yeah, okay. And like you said, pandering, right? Yeah, that's what we're talking about yeah. here. So now, uh, and he said, "I wish you and all your projects the best." You know, yeah. so now I think they're fine. The two of them. It's just yeah. the stupid ass journalist. So now Harry Styles is taking Shia LaBeouf's role, right? He's obviously. I mean, uh, the movie's made. Yeah, uh, he's in it, um, dude. Fucking Asif Ali, he's the Indian guy in uh, the Goat Face. You know, <laughs> she all fucking big my eyes guy. I was like, whoa. So, did you ever watch Goat Face, uh, the Fahim Anwar Hassan no. Minaj's sketch group? Oh, he's Never. like, he was part of their group. So he's a comedian, uh-huh. and he's like has a big role. He's in Wandavision. You watched Wandavision? Watch oh shit! I skipped that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got two episodes in. It's like this is fucking boring. And yeah. then everyone was like, "You gotta keep watching." Chris yeah. Chris Pine is in this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. gorgeous. What a handsome guy! Oh my, <laughs> I mean, guys, for like time out. Let's take a minute. Chris Pine, what, he is aged very well. Underrated. And his acting, underrated. His acting's gotten way more better to compare to like his earlier work. You know sure, what I mean? Like, yeah. dude, was he a child actor? I don't know. But it's like, like I just remember him being in a bunch of romance movies, and I was yeah. like, "Yeah, Captain yeah. Kirk." That he fucking killed it. Yeah. Those Star Trek movies are not appreciated. Underrated, they're they're honestly. they're fucking decent and, and movies commercially too, right? Fucking good. Yeah, but he's in it. Nick Kroll's in this movie, dude. Oh, Nick Kroll's in this, dude. This movie, yeah. looks like it's, it has. Po- damn, holy bitch. moly! It looks like it has potential. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but this Harry Styles. Sh- okay, there's one. From the trailer I mm-hmm. saw, it like it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Right. But Florence is pretty much right about like people only going to watch, you know, the sex scenes. <laughs> is that what she said? Yeah. Oh. And like she was basically like, oh. you know, like I it sucks that the only reason people are gonna watch this movie is just to watch like the sex scenes and like how graphic they're sex like, scenes. <laughs> yeah. I didn't Dude, even know. It's gonna be heavy as fuck. Yeah. Olivia Wilde is even like, men don't come in this movie. And I was like, yo. Do what a feminist th- take. And then I t- I subtweeted it or quote tweeted it. I was like, it, like the Harry Styles tweet or, or where he's like acting. acting. I was like, I'm glad he doesn't come in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't deserve it, dude. Not after that performance. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, the fucking, Phew. you can literally watch the clip right now. It's literally just like, I feel like we can lose this opportunity. <laughs> and then he goes, about? our lives. And then he's like, we can lose this. <laughs> It's like bad theater, dude. Like, that's what I'm saying. And but, like, man. Someone, and then Florence Pugh's acting is like so, I wouldn't say over the top. It looks over the top compared to his. 
You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like it looks like she's doing too much, but really she's not. It's just right. Harry's not delivering the lines properly in a way that looks like she's reacting properly. It looks like they're like two different rooms. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just like the it energy. It looks like they're doing the thing where like one person does all the lines, someone's reading it off. Their coverage. You know oh. what I mean? <laughs> like just, Yeah, his coverage. She's like reacting. Yeah. Like her, dude, her fucking like nuance, like her eyebrows like moving and shit and like yeah. the twitches. Meanwhile, you got him. <sighs> he's just like it's stone he's like he's like, on stage or something like he loses he's, opportunity yeah 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 his yeah. fucking accent man what you worried about yeah I wanna see how yeah. I wanna see the whole movie though now Bro, this, know, that's the good thing about this it built up a lot of like I really kinda wanna see this shit now yeah I honestly like A-list covers it oh I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll yeah it. I'm, like, I'm thinking like if it is an IMAX which I doubt it no 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 it no, probably no, won't no. be it'll probably be general release like you think it, it, I don't think it'd be this is even what about the Dol- what about movie? the Dolby audio one? What the fuck is this movie gonna need the Dolby? I don't know. Audio? The, you know the mean? score just kind of like, had a had a thing to, ha- to it. Like this, like the music maybe. Yeah, maybe. But like it has to be like a movie like you Bullet know, Train. But like somewhere nope. you can feel the explosions and yeah. shit like that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like shit. Nope. If I saw Nope in that Dolby theater. Oh wow! Well, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I wish You've I did. Seen, but shout out to uh, Abe Abe Niven. He's a Afghan guy. Uh, he made some. Fa- Salam. Yeah. Sorry. Welcome, brother. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he like makes films and stuff too yeah. in, in California. He made some fan art of Nope, and the yeah. Nope account like retweeted it yeah. and like shared it and shit. Because he he's like, I think Nope is the greatest movie ever. Made. <laughs> like he loves this movie, dude. dude I, f- I it's so good, way, dude. It's dude, so good. The move. The shots in that fuck, we're really dead right. But the shots oh, in that yeah, fucking yeah. movie, bro. Yeah. Universal. Trust your artists. Oh, my God. Um, but Warner I was going to say, yeah, Warner Brothers needs, don't, what's it, don't worry, darling. Yeah. Okay. They need this movie to do so well. No, I think they just need this movie to cover the budget. <laughs> That's they're all in, they need. They're in debt. <laughs> do you know, what did we say about last time when we talked about the Warner Discovery yeah, 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 merge? Like, having that schmuck as CEO, he tried to save $2 billion, right? And he cost them what, like th- eight, four, eight yeah, billion? They're d- oh. schmucks, schmucks. You played yourself. This is why you don't let these fucking business. You who, who? Okay, when? When was the last time? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time? Yeah. You th- thought about Discovery Channel? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm fucking saying. That's what comes to mind. You're telling me you let this guy mm. who's running. I didn't even know they had a streaming dude, service until this news came dude, out. What right? if they're like doing mad numbers? Oh no way! On like Cake Boss, or is that like Fuck that's like the learning you know, channel? It, I guess. Like no, they have like TLC. Uh, they probably hit own TLC. Is I that mean, TLC? Let's be honest, like fucking because the guy, his whole method. I think we talked about it. Where it was like. He likes doing reality shows because they're cheap as fuck mm, to make, mm-hmm. and the viewership is always high because people are just watching dog so shit on TV. So it's a fucking print money, yeah. Yeah. So he's like, oh, I love doing, it. and then movies are like things that cost money. He's like, No, I don't want doing it. You have to go through like a bunch of fucking hoops. Yeah, to things get people actually money. like to go watch and see. Yeah. yeah. And he fucking hates movies, so that's why it doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, put him in charge of the one of the old oldest studios too. Yeah. one of the top big six that has the arguably like the biggest catalog Dude. in the film industry WB they own the fucking Harry Potter movies oh. the DC movies There's, that's just the franchise I can think of right Dude, now not I mean, including everything else that they own yeah yeah exactly like, just, just browse HBO Max you're telling me yeah you're gonna put this schmuck by the way HBO Max was strangling the market at one point, dude. They were coming out with fucking banger original shows. The best. Had their entire fucking catalog because yeah. of Warner Bros. They had so much shit. They own Adult Swim too, Cartoon mm-hmm. Network, all appointment appointment television. They brought yeah. they brought back like weekly re- weekly releases, exactly. Which killed number one trending exactly. every week. Exactly. Euphoria, dude. The rehearsal. They're fucking killing it. You're telling me you're gonna put this schmucko in charge, and he's gonna be like, "Yeah, we're axing this. We're axing this. We're gonna get a two billion dollar tax write off, even though it's gonna cost us eight billion dollars." Schmuck. I'd worry, darling. I'd worry. <laughs> <laughs> like now right. he's seen like, dude, and that's yeah. another thing. This movie, yeah, is like this so, is giving him even more reason to be like, I think "This is you it." Know, yeah, like we're 
done. We're di- we're di- we're dialing back the movie making. You know what I cut, mean? Cut the cut the hairy marketing clip, please. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to run that anymore. He was probably the one who approved the fucking thing. Probably he's, he's like, like yeah, that's pretty good. He's that he's all his decisions are terrible. He's like, yeah, but, she's hot. He's hot. Just put it on. He's like ninety two. <laughs> he's old as fuck. He's, put me in charge. I'm telling you. You need There's a, three things I can do. I can run an NBA team. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can run a movie company, and I can run. So <laughs> run it to the ground. So if the first two yeah. go bad, I can just go <laughs> disappear off the face of the earth. He's on the move. <laughs> As I say, what podcast? My fugitive code. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop the Addy. <laughs> no, you just see Don't me do on a laptop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the cart. <laughs> My guys, thank Virtual you for background. my drone. Yeah. <laughs> now, I won't tell you where I am or what time zone I'm in. <laughs> I'm running solar completely. You start working at a Cinnabon. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used a credit card in years. <laughs> Off the grid. I have like a beard. There's oh, like wildlife behind me. <laughs> you went to where Discovery like shoots their ads and shit. <laughs> guys, guys, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the set of oh, Naked and God. Afraid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a recurring character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go near the hut. That's Wi Fi. There's someone there. Oh man. But this is this is their last uh, two releases of this year. This movie and Black Adam. That's depressing. So Hey, Black Adam, man, you got a lot The Rock's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders, man. Dude, I would you know who's one person we need to talk about this is Mr. Michael Uslin. Because he's executive producer. Michael, can right there. you come into the room, please? And just walk oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> he's gonna be in Bloomington actually in October. Ooh. His classes are going to be taught in October. Oh fuck! Uh, apparently this year. So shit. Bring him on. Bring <laughs> if him you on, can baby. get him, on, dude. If I will be like, hey man, <laughs> can you? What do you want me to do? <laughs> can you clean things up over there? I will. W. You be my Harvey Weinstein. Just tell me what to do, and I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> you need you drink the Kool Aid. Drink the gravy. Swallow. So <laughs> new, new actor in. Uh, don't worry, darling. Yosef, <laughs> newcomer, no, Yosef Nadeport. I'm the guy, the cashier, in, like, in somewhere. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. One line. Completely out of touch, pa- like, in the movie. Paper, plastic. Just, like, a mini, like, bottle moment in the movie where it's, like, they go to a department That's store. I'm what a guy, credit. Yeah, I'm yeah. the guy just behind the cashier. <laughs> and just fucking moving shit. And it's, like, a 50, it's set in, like, the 50s or something, too, right? It'll be, like, 355, dude. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? You got it, sir. <laughs> Puts milk in a carton in a bag. <laughs> oh my god! Well, is that movie based in the fucking fifties? It's like, uh, yeah, it's like, oh, the, or at least the neighborhood. Like that's the whole. That's like Mad Men. It's like Ooh. fucking Mad Men the movie. Women stay at home, and take care of the house. Harry Styles is hot as, as it's fuck. supposed to he be. He is <laughs> hot as fuck. Huh? He is hot as fuck. Shit, man, put I him mean, in a dress. Good for him. Good, um, good <laughs> for him. Shit, man. The the holy crap. Everything okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, oh, okay, yeah. Oof. Uncle, uh, his HBO Max account. <gasps> Fucking discovery. <laughs> They're listening. Um, you yeah, want to talk shit about us? Cut. <laughs> Real quick, because we mentioned the Batman. The yeah. Matt Reeves, Batman mm-hmm. director, signed out like a, a long term contract gonna be dope. for movies. Gonna the, be dope. The, the Penguin series. It's it's gonna happen, which gives me hope. Yeah, that they're doing something. Yeah, man. Right. That's going to be dope as fuck. I cannot wait. He's great, man. I cannot wait. He fucking. Killed it with the Batman. We're getting the Batman sequel. The script is in the works. It's coming. And look at that. Trust the Bring artist. Mr. F- Dr. Freeze. Trust the process. I want an Arnold reprise. <laughs> <laughs> he should make a cameo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Batman, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Very cold. <laughs> I used to meet you. <laughs> God damn it. So good. So good. But uh, yeah. What's, what are we doing here? Well, we got a few more minutes. So... Yeah. Um, what else? We talked about the, the main lo- things. Do you got a loud out of the week? I do. Oh, wait, let's hear. Okay, let's loud hear. out of the week. Idiot of the, of the week, uh, as always. And I'm going to try and... Um, I've been inspired by a friend of ours' podcast. Shout out the uh, Film Retrospective podcast with Carter and Jackson. They have a... It's just kids we knew from South. Um, Alex and I. Uh-huh. And Alex guests on it all the time. When it's are we going to guess? <laughs> Dude, I... I'm gonna guess. <laughs> um, and they have. Oh, like, I'll go fuck myself. No, that's fine. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, he's like, we want you off for like. I'm like, these are my expertises. Like, fucking stand-up comedy, like, uh, SNL and Succession. <laughs> these are my buckets. 
uh, the Muppets. They did that one already. Yeah. Anyway, um, they have like chapters and like yeah. headings and stuff like that. Really, really well done pod. But this is our chapter, Light Up yeah. the Week. So, uh, Sydney Sweeney. Um, we mentioned uh, Euphoria. What a baddie. Euphoria oh star. Wifey material. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're about to tell me something. No, <laughs> not not her. Nothing against her. Okay, okay. On the contrary. Yeah. She posted uh, some pictures from her mom's 60th birthday. Yeah. They had a hoedown. They're uh, they're from South Carolina. What's a hoedown? A hoedown. A swing your partner. Dosing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A hold on, my house tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so it's this southern southern stuff, you know. Yeah. Everyone's wearing their, you know, plaid. Yeah. It's what they do. It's their culture. Flannels, yeah. Flannel, thank you. Cracker culture, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, he's white as paper. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, apparently, there's she posted pictures from it. There's a shot of a relative of hers, probably. It's you know, it's family, family thing, and uh, they had the uh, the blue flag T-shirt. Ooh. You know that one. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know that's their decision, whatever. And uh, I just the Lauda is, in my opinion, are the people who are attacking her. Yeah. For that. Yeah, it doesn't. Because it's like this mob mentality bullshit <laughs> has got to end, bro. This is what I'm saying. It, it, it was the fucking Blue Lives Matter flag, right. correct? No, okay, just yeah. just to clarify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I was saying earlier about fucking people from the left hounding people in the middle, pushing them to the fucking right. Hey, man, yeah. that's not how you handle this shit. The mob mentality does not fucking benefit anyone. It no. just pisses everyone off. Both sides get pissed off. It's like it's just jerking each other off. Yeah, straight up. Like you're gonna get off on it. It's gonna be. Ooh, do you feel go. good? Do you feel yeah. good commenting, attacking they somebody do, they who has get, no they relevance they to your fucking, fucking life, dude? Get it's off. awful. Yeah, and she like so much. In fact, that she had to put out a tweet about it. She's like, I just want to say I was just enjoying my mom's 60th birthday, yeah. and. This is not a statement of any kind. I find it ridiculous that I have to say yeah. this. And so many times this happens. And I think, you know, Tim Dillon said something recently mm-hmm. on Rogan. He was like, we've gotten to a point in society, like in our country especially, where things are so good, you know? Yeah. We, you know, not pending, you know, homelessness and stuff like that. Yeah. But like, we've conquered the nations. We've gotten what yeah. we need to get materials wise. We've gotten so fucking bored that yeah. we're just attacking each other. Yeah. And that's why we're so divided. That's just fucking stupid. So. That's what I'm saying. It's, lit- it's legitimately, it's <sighs> like trying to, you, I'm all for having opinions. There are terrible opinions out there. Let's not fucking, mm-hmm. like, let's call a spade a spade. Like, you know what I mean? There's yeah. some fucking dipshit opinions. Yeah. But you can't, depending on what, like Andrew Tate's opinions, yeah. Deep platform this fucker, you know what I mean? That's like harmful. <laughs> like, you know what yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. that's inciting violence, you know what I mean? But you can't fucking just cause you don't agree with it or it makes you feel offended on someone else's behalf. Mm-hmm. Go fuck yourself. This is oh, like on someone else's behalf, especially. This, it's fucking stupid, dude. Did you see the video of like uh the guy who was like dressed up in a sombrero and like a poncho and a mustache? <laughs> and he was like he went to like the university campus and he was oh. like does this offend, like, would this offend a Mexican person? You know, oh, like, he was like, like, make, was he like a white guy? Every motherfucker was like, oh, yeah, you can't wear that because this, that, and that. And then you go, he goes to, like, an actual, like, Mexican community. And they're like, I love it. <laughs> I love that. they're, like, that. laughing hard as fuck. Oh, you know I, I mean? love that That's so my much. whole argument. You can't be fucking upset on someone's behalf. Let the person who's actually upset That's voice incredible. their fucking opinion. Because yeah. they might have a sense of humor that you don't fucking have. Do you Dude, know what it's I mean? like the disabled, the minorities. It's like, hey, man, we want to have a, we don't want to think about our fucking problems. Dude, George Carlin said it fucking best where he was like, we're saying words to make make f- people feel better about like a situation you know what i mean mm-hmm. where it was like uh like ptsd it was before mm-hmm. it, was, it was like shell shock shell before shock. so it yeah. had more power and people were uh-huh. like okay we understand yeah and then when it's post-traumatic stress disorder it sounds like you know something that people can be like ah well like and they're not taking it seriously you know what i mean mm-hmm. like that's what yeah. we're doing now we're fucking changing our like our diction to make people feel like they're n- like we're di- we're dancing on ice and you're minimizing their voice while you're doing exactly that we're fucking di- like we're taking the individuality out of the people that you're fucking you know supposedly protecting by yeah. being like oh no like like if someone made like a terrorist joke about us right 
It like, better be funny. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> if it's funny, we'll fucking laugh. If it's not funny, we just don't laugh. Exactly. Like, like, that's dude, fucking stupid. Do you know? better. <laughs> we can, people can defend themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. This white savior complex of like, oh, they can't fucking defend the themselves. Where it's like you're in front of the bullets. Yeah. And like, we have to fucking defend it. Shut the fuck up, dude. We're talking from we're talking from a minority's perspective too. Where we grew like, up in southern Indiana. We grew up in Indiana. Okay? As Afghans, we survived Granted, elementary we, school, middle school, and high school with the dunces that we went to high school with. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the amount of fucking terrorist jokes we fucking heard. Yeah. Shit like, like sand most dwellers. Of them, most jokes, of them you know were I mean? awful, yeah. yeah. Most of them were and, awful. And we were like, dude, that's what built us good. to be able to like A be funny and like rebuttals and like comebacks. Or and also like toughen the fuck up because you know people aren't gonna be nice to you all the fucking time. At least they're acknowledging you. I think like, the, dude, like the opposite of love is not hate of someone. It's like yeah. what's it called? Uh, Tolerance isn't being intolerant to someone them. that has a different opinion than you do. Okay, that's mm-hmm. not tolerance. <laughs> tolerance right, right. is like understanding why they're fucking feeling that way, and then you can make an effort to actually like sway them or like give your perspective you know what i mean yeah and maybe you don't you just don't see eye if eye. they don't if they're fucking stubborn you give up you move on you don't fucking ponder about it and then ruin people's careers unless it's something that like if like if i was like yeah i beat my wife all the time you should do it too then yeah then you're off get of on all me social media <laughs> i do like like yeah. i like i would just make a joke like last night on the podcast uh-huh. when we were recording i'd make a joke and then people would be like oh oh like I roll, you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, shut yeah. the fuck, laugh! Don't make it real. You're making it real. Well, that's their genuine reaction. You yeah. gotta, you can let them have their reaction to it. No, but, but no, but, but they weren't like, stop saying that. No, no, no. But yeah. I'm saying like, like what people do with comedians, where it's like people will be like, oh, you can't say that. You know what I mean? Fucking, maybe if I do say it, someone's gonna laugh. It's just the same shit. You know? Yeah. Like man. it's just the fucking stop with the bullshit. Mob mentality is bullshit. There you go. <laughs> like that's the message of this episode yeah yeah you know so I, mean? I thought that was ridiculous and, and that that's relates the point to the there. fucking Shia LaBeouf stuff too because there people were crowding against yeah, Shia LaBeouf full circle and then when they read his messages like oh wait a minute and then they sway back uh huh you know what I mean yeah yeah no it was just uh, upsetting to see and disappointing but not surprised. You want to, speaking of disappointment, you want to know my letter? The yeah, one? please. Yeah. So Biden has that he forgave 10K yeah. of people's student tuitions. Loan, you know student I mean? loan forgiveness. Mm-hmm. So uh, one, there's two, basically. There's the people who like got the 10K and they're like, this is it. There's a lot of that. Hey, man. There was a lot of that. Do you want me to be blunt? He didn't have to fucking pay anything off. You know, like, yeah, the whole, his whole thing was like paying it off completely. That, which like, yeah. Which like, yeah, you guys kind of got fucking scammed. But also, it's like, you can only do so better much. than nothing. Dude. You can only do so much when half the Senate take can't it. fucking stand you. You know what I mean? Like the Republicans. It's a fucking miracle, anything gets passed. And then on okay, the on flip the side, side uh-huh. you got these fucking Republican grifts, these pundits supposedly that mm-hmm. are just fucking being like, ah. they're these are the one. These are the people that are fucking. Like twisting people and like dividing us, each other, bro. They're like, have you seen the tweet where it's like a guy with like a like a fucking like a Confederate hat or Maga something? hat, or something like that? And he'd okay. be like, oh, these gas prices. He's like a, clearly like a farmer or something. He's like, oh, these gas prices are like killing my savings and shit like that. You know uh, what I mean? Oh, and then it'll show like a cracked out like you know like stereotype of like a liberal with like oh, blue hair and uh-huh. everything, fucked up makeup, uh-huh. and like thanks for paying for my college. You know, uh, like, have you seen that? Yeah. Like, it's like, no, sh- but I get the idea. Yeah. I get the format. It's just basically like showing like, oh, like Republicans are posting this shit, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, Where they're yeah. like, oh, these are, the left is fucking they making you things. pay for the college tuition. Right. Which isn't taxes. what fucking happening, you know what For I mean? this? No, no. Like, that's what fucking, t- they're also paying tax. It's a stupid fucking argument, I mean, right? hey, yeah. Then all of these Republicans Everyone are talking about. School, both Republicans and Democrats. All of these Republicans are talking about. Oh, they're getting their loans forgiven. What the fuck? This is bullshit. And then Meanwhile. the White House went goblin mode and started exposing each Republican for how much they had forgiven in loans. Wait, like and the people, White House Twitter account? The White House Twitter account. Like, there was some, the lady who was like, I, I forget her name, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah. Oh. She made a tweet and oh. it was like, this is bullshit. The left is making you pay for their college tuition, blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. And then the White House quote tweets uh-huh. it, and they're like, um, 
Marjorie Taylor Greene had three hundred thousand dollars in loans, like forgiven with the PPP during the pandemic. Yo, and they were just doing this for all. Shout out, shout out to the White House it. intern, dude. Uh, dude <laughs> the White then, House intern, dude, like, go. Jo- <laughs> and someone was like, "Joe's having a good week," <laughs> and it's like him in the interviews being like, "How do you feel about?" Like paying the taxes of these of the one percent that you know what I mean. You're paying their taxes because they're getting f- oh, like oh, yeah. forgiven and shit like question. that. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like he raised that question, uh-huh. and then he was like, "Whatever." Like in an interview, they're like, "That lady, whatever her name is, she was talking, like basically like referencing Marjorie Taylor Greene." Yeah, it wasn't even like, whatever her name is. Ooh. I was like, "Ooh, cold blood, Joey B." <laughs> he is having a good. That's a good week, dude. That's, that's what I'm saying. He needed one. He needed dude, one. The White House Twitter. If you go through it, just go wow. Everybody savage. I love it's it. It's dope as fuck because it's it. sure. Like, dude, these fucking pun- like pundits on both sides. They're both fucking pinning teeth. Take the pundits out. I mean, yeah, and we're in, we're in the midterm season too, so it's yeah, like man. it's all gloves are off. But I love that man. That's yeah. a, that's beautiful and dude, uh, <laughs> a good place to Joe end. Joe Biden's approval rating was like probably down low. Now it's like skyrocketing. Dude, up. yeah, now it's like an AMC stock for, like, for in January. What a, hey, whatever his caretakers are doing, they gotta keep <laughs> <laughs> keep that blood sugar keep, up. <laughs> No more bike riding, yeah, man. but uh, hey, you know what? Uh, that's some good news. You know yeah. what? Good news. You love to see it. You love, you love to, to see it, it, and you love to hear, listen to the Say What podcast. Appreciate you still listening. Comment below. Um, Joey S- B. Justice for <laughs> yes, Justice for Sydney Sweeney. Joey B. We love you. Say What podcast episode forty seven. We'll see you all next time. Ugh. Real quick, before you click away, thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Click right here to subscribe to my channel for all future videos. And click right here to check out this video over here. Have a great one.